Chapter 18 The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he was making a work on the wheels. When the vessel that he made of the clay was marred in the hand of the potter, he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, House of Israel, can't I do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Behold, as the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. When I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to pluck up and to break down and to destroy it, if that nation concerning which I have spoken turns from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. Then I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to build and to plant it, if they do that which is evil in my sight, that they not obey my voice, then I will repent of the good with which I said I would benefit them. Now therefore speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Turn you now every one from his evil way, and amend your ways and your doings. But they say, It is in vain, for we will walk after our own devices, and we will do every one after the stubbornness of his evil heart. Therefore thus says the Lord, Ask now among the nations, Who has heard such things? The virgin of Israel has done a very horrible thing. Shall the snow of Lebanon fail from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold waters that flow down from afar be dried up? For my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to false gods and they have been made to stumble in their ways in the ancient paths, to walk in byways in a way not built up, to make their land an astonishment and a perpetual hissing. Everyone who passes by shall be astonished and shake his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then they said, Come, and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor word from the prophet. Come and let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not give heed to any of his words. Give heed to me, O Lord, and listen to the voice of those who contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have dug a pit for my soul." Remember how I stood before you to speak good for them, to turn away your wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine, and give them over to the power of the sword, and let their wives become childless and widows, and let their men be slain of death, and their young men struck with the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses, when you shall bring a troop on them suddenly, for they have dug a pit to take me, and hid snares for my feet. Yet, O Lord, you know all their counsel against me to kill me. Don't forgive their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from your sight, but let them be overthrown before you. Deal with them in the time of your anger.